quick pediatrics and today I'm going to talk about disorders of the growth that's short stretcher short stretcher so before starting a discussion on this uh, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends so let's start a discussion on this. Remember the most three important growth delay are a short stretcher. We are often asked in USMLE or MRCPCH examination is either what you call constitutional, familial or a pathological, pathologic cause. Okay right so when do you call the short stretcher if it's a below what you call a three percentile okay if there is a sudden drop of what you call um, growth right of a uh, height growth on the growth chart okay below two percent two points or something so they call it as a short stretcher right so now let's see what's a constitutional growth delay in a constitutional growth delay, the parents are normal height. The parents are, are of normal heights. Okay. Normal final adult height is reached in this condition. Okay. What happens in this? Normal final adult height is reached. Goal is reached. Okay. Growth spurt and the puberty are delayed in these cases. Growth spurt and puberty are delayed in this case. So the chronolog chronological age, chronologic age in these patients is greater than the bone age. Chrono chronic chronological age, age is greater than what you call bone age. Okay. If you take a chronological age of 13 and the bone age is of 11, 10, 9, okay? So you think of what you call uh, uh, this as a constitutional growth delay, right? If it's a familial short stature, the parents is, what you call the patient is a parallel to the growth curve, okay? It's a parallel growth curve. Growth curve. GC okay strong family history of short stretcher that's really very important you should ask the patients uh, what you call you should look at the patient's parents height okay and the other important thing is here the chronological age is equal to bone age means that if the chronological age is 15 and then the bone age is also 15 years okay whereas in pathologic start stretcher the patient may be uh, start out in the normal range initially then start crossing growth percentiles okay uh, different diagnoses are there for this uh, means pathologic so they have what you call craniopharyngeum uh, hypothyroidism hypopituitarism okay so let me put a this in a tab tablet form if chronological age is equal to what you call bone age what do you think about Think of its ideal or genetic cause that is a familial short stretcher, right? If it's normal, remember. If the chronic age equals a bone, uh, bone age is abnormal, then you think of genetic is a cause or chromosomal, okay, or endocrine. I would like to tell you one important point over here. Remember, in USMLE or MRCPCH or any other clinical practice, if you get a female child, okay, of a short stretcher, okay, always suspect of Turner syndrome in this, okay. And if there is a short stretcher and presence with a vision problem, then think of craniopharyngioma, could be the cause, okay, right. Now, if the chronological age is more than bone age, 
normally it is a constitutional delay if it's abnormal then it could be a chronic systemic diseases or endocrine related chronic systemic diseases or endocrine related okay because of the hormone imbalance if the chronological age is less than bone age then it could be a obesity remember it could be obesity and if it's abnormal then it's a precocious puberty precocious puberty then we have a congenital adrenal hyperplasia and hyperthyroidism okay hyperthyroidism that these are the really important points you should know about what you call um, short stature okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care